I'm a little bit obsessed with fluffy cows. <laughs> Art is like therapy to me. I think art is something I come to when I'm really feeling low. I'm Lois Elligale and I'm 17 years old and I'm originally from England though I've never lived there. I think that when I'm painting, usually if it's a really difficult piece, if it's a portrait especially, I'll go through this part where I think I can't go any further, I can't make this piece work, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna look good. And um, I think overcoming that difficulty, that is the most satisfying feeling ever. Just feeling like I pushed through, I got through that point and it looks good. I thought that it was just like a hobby for a really long time and I didn't think that I would take like it further into school but um, actually I entered this competition in Abu Dhabi and uh, the embassy basically chose my design for a Christmas card greeting so I won this competition and I was in a newspaper about it and it was this big thing so I felt like from then on I had to really pursue art and make something out of it. On this messy desk I've got all my paint brushes, my pens, I've got my scrapbooks here, I've drawn and doodled in all of them and then I've got my makeup and hair things as well as all my works in progress over here, <laughs> my little paintings and things. I've got my trolley over here which is so handy and it's got literally everything I ever need so that is so useful. Usually when I'm conceptualizing, I sketch it out really rough and I then find lots of inspiration pictures, so from other artists, I go on Pinterest a lot and then I actually get it done, which I work quite slowly and very methodically, so it takes a lot of time for me to finish a piece, but um, after a lot of challenging parts and getting through that emotional strain, I end up finishing a piece. <laughs> yes. What is the hardest part about putting yourself out there? Um, I think being such a introvert and being quite shy, I, I feel like my voice should always be quiet and I feel like um, really uncomfortable when I'm taking up space. So I feel like no one would want to hear me or look at my art and no one would gain anything from it so it's really hard to push past that like mental barrier um even if like i do believe in my art sometimes i feel like no it should just be kept from me then no one will dislike it no one will say anything mean to me about it so i think that's a challenge to push past that Sometimes when I create art, I just think that it's not going to fulfill me, so it can't fulfill anyone else. But uh, usually I find that I'm wrong in most cases, because usually maybe my family really, really enjoys that piece, or my art teacher finds it amazing and needs to post it on the school website or something like that. Like um, That really builds me up, and it feels great. So I want to show you my portraits that I've been working on because I really um, made some progress this year in terms of my technical ability and I started with this portrait of my mum and this is graphite and it took me a while but I think I managed to like understand facial features. <laughs> 
it's going to be a big self-portrait and um, this hand is going to be gloved and um, it will basically represent the fears surrounding the pandemic and the fear of touching and physical contact and how that's like affected people mentally and it just left a lot of fear in society. Right over here, my Janet Devlin portrait. It's my favorite because I got her, she, she's a singer and she's my favorite, um, my favorite artist of all time. And I reached out to her, I sent her a picture of it and she posted it online. And she wrote back to me saying that it was amazing. So it's my favorite piece just because she got back to me and said such wonderful things. I've gone really into uh, clothing commissions, so people will send me their jeans or jean jackets, whatever. And um, these are some dungarees that I painted for myself. <laughs> I've got, this is the first time I've ever sewn, so be gentle. <laughs> but um, I've got these and they've got patches all over them that I painted. <laughs> I've got, this is probably my favorite one, just because it's so big. And it's, it's a so big. sky scene. What is the hardest part about being you? I have, um, I have, I was born with this illness and it affects uh, my esophagus and I tend to have a lot of operations throughout the year. Just um, something I was born with, something I can never change. And usually when I tell people it, they act really surprised and shocked and sad for me. But it's honestly something that I can't change. So I just have to get used to it and live with it. And it shouldn't be sad or difficult, but I think the difficult part is just, um, trying to hide it so people don't take pity over me and i kind of want to show that like i'm still fully capable i'm still fully able-bodied and i don't need extra help or support from anyone i can just carry on with my life and can still have happy moments i can still take pleasure out of music and art and it doesn't have to be um me pushing through it's just me getting on with it I think I've come a long way to be able to look at my art and appreciate it and I think that there was definitely like times where I, I just had absolutely no belief in myself and it means a lot that I can just feel proud of what I can do sometimes. What's a question that you would like the next artist to answer? What, what thing do you want other people to recognize in your art that they usually don't? I hope you enjoyed my art.